Here's the top five moves to send defenders flying. Number one is the cross body between the legs or the stiff leg. Pretty much the same move. Whichever hand's dribbling, opposite foot takes a step across the body, but more forward. Pull the ball back between the legs for a little extra protection. And more coaches are going to be okay with that. The stiff leg's the same thing. You're just crossing over in front of the leg. A little more street ball, a little more unprotected, so defenders might be able to poke at. Set it up with an in and out to really get defenders back. Before we get into the next one, if you want to take all the moves next level, check out the free workout link to my profile. The next is the snatch pack. You can do this three ways. Number one, reverse between the legs, pulling it from the back of the legs to the front of your body. With your body angled here, ball side foot steps forward, pull it back, not sideways. You could do that same thing, but with a regular crossover, a little less protected, or for most protection, go behind the back. This works great coming off of a drive, and you see the defender about to turn their shoulders and commit, boom, pull that ball back. The next is to come from an upright relaxed position, drop down into between the legs by either stepping with the opposite foot or splitting your legs, but leaning into that front leg. From there, get into a low crossover. A big key is to startle them. So act like you're surveying the court, boom, get into that between the legs, put them in a daze. You shock them out of that daze to think you're going this way, boom, they're going flying that way while you're coming this way. Next one, you're gonna start with a cross jab. So whichever hand's dribbling, you're gonna cross over and as the ball's about getting into this hand, Take a jab out with this foot, but for this move, we're just gonna take a small jab and just lean a little bit that way. It doesn't have to be a big exaggerated face. From there, we want somewhat of a shoulder width face so we got more room to work with sideways with our feet because there we're gonna get into a bigger fake, almost like an Iverson without the hezzy. We're just gonna get down low, sell that fake and come here. This tight little cross jab will freeze a lot of defenders, but get them anticipating your big move. Then when you take this depth, a lot of them are gonna go flying. Boom, you got space here. Last move, you're gonna push the ball out, same side foot as the hand that was dribbling, steps out slightly delayed. Get the ball with the opposite hand over the top to come the other way. The sham guide, you know the deal. Big key is to make sure you get the spacing right because you want them to think they can get to the ball before you do, but you know what you're doing, so you got a little bit of a half a second advantage. So as they're swiping, you're coming here. 